Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another update vi video. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer trying to develop uh, features and fixes along the wishes of regular everyday users. Thank you very much for jo joining me for this update video. Um, first of all, as usual, I want to give a big shout out and a big th thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon, uh, all of the supporters on LibrePay, and uh, even somebody who bought me three coffees on buymeacoffee.com. So thank, th thank you very much. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Nick from Logos by Nick, who posted uh, a previous pay pages post on his community board. Uh, that's got a bit, bit of interest too. So uh, just a big reminder for everybody, do share these videos if you can. It, it really helps to get the word out there that um, you know people are trying to work on Inkscape for everyday user needs and they could do with your help too. Okay, so on to the actual main event. This week, I think we're going to be pretty quick. Uh, I was working on the pages fe features again. And um, I think this is what? week nine, eight, something like that. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to clear up the last two remaining sort of like bottleneck features, which is the ability to move pages around and snap them so that they actually hit uh, specific marks. So this is so, for example, so you can place pages right next to each other and they're actually uh, pixel by pixel right next to each other. And then the other is just so you can like put them next to each other and they actually operate on the same horizontal and vertical align alignment. Um, I don't know if people know much about the snapping code in Inkscape, but it is hella complicated. And so while I wanted to actually get on to some other fixes, I spent the entire uh, time that I had uh, have available to work on Inkscape code uh, just researching snapping, um, figuring out how to get it to work with pages, which are not SP items, refactoring some of the snapping code so that it was more capable of supporting objects that are not uh, drawing objects, you know, they're not SVG drawing objects. And then just playing around with the settings until I could get a piece of fun fun functionality that actually worked well. Uh, I think I, I have pretty much successfully done done that. Uh, we have pages that only snap to other page and pages and they, and they align. I couldn't get the distribute to work. The distribution is um, too, uh, nailed into being with objects. I may revisit it in the future if people like the fun functionality, but I could consider it sort of like an optional extra at, at this point. Um, there is a couple of remaining issues that we still need to do for paid pages before I can consider sort of like the um, first revision of paid pages to be complete, but we are getting very close. Um, there is the small matter of the fact that sometimes when you open an, a PDF file, the transformations are sc screwed up. Uh, that's bad. And uh, there's probably a bunch of those too. So if you try out this branch and you uh, experience those problems, do report them to the merge request because I'll be able to use your PDF files as an example as I try and debug the problems and make sure that the, your particular PDFs don't fail. Um, the other issue is just the reordering. So like being able to put page two to page three and, you know, swap them around and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. I'm probably going to do a basic automatic ordering button that basically says, take all of the pages and reorder them so that they're left to right. Um, and that's a very, like, it's not the best user experience because, you know, you'd hope you'd be able to just drag the pages around and that they'd automatically reorder themselves. But for a first implementation, I think a button that just says, okay, so this page is to, to, to the left of this other page. Therefore, it, it comes before it in the, in the export stack. Uh, that's probably, that's probably good, good enough for, for now. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, thank you all, everybody for trying out the branches for reporting the issues back to me. Um, and please do let me know what your thought thoughts are and, and what you might think we should work on next. I'm thinking I might work on crash reporting as, as the next project, but let me know and have a very good week.